we're going to do. Or well, we're going to state got, that this is an ad hoc meeting. I've got some some cartridges here we could start with. Okay. I've got uh, the Sweet Magoo, Sweet Kazoo cartridge. Oh, okay. That's good. And I've got the, I think I've got a duplicate of that. I've also got DM2000. I've got football. We could, uh, the football, so tomorrow is. Uh, oh, I did bring some joysticks. We, uh, I don't know if football is on one of these already. Let's, we can check it. Let's see what we got. This is, I think this is a. Uh, okay. Uh, review module library. Okay, that's right. You want to give a quick announcement as to what we're doing here and what we are? Well, let's not get on the air. Uh, we, are, we are already on the air. Oh, we are already on the air. All right, now. Uh, that's probably not a good idea, but in as much as we are. Where's the microphone? Oh, there it is. God, this is as bad as at home. <laughs> uh, well, here we are, boys and girls. Uh, this is the uh, February uh, meeting of the Chicago TI user group. And uh, we are uh, a little bit uh, out of our normal rhythm today because our president, Vic Stirrup, is not here. Uh, He's also our equipment chairman. Yeah, who's uh, got all the all the equipment and brings all the equipment. So we're cobbled together uh, different systems here. And uh, um, so uh, let's see. Let's see who, who's here today. Well, Jim Mazur, our technical guru, and uh, Ken Griffith, who has brought some of our uh, equipment uh, today. And uh, again, part of the things that we're cobbling together. And I'm here, Hal Shanfield, the uh, Chairman of the fair and General Dog's body, Secretary of the group, et cetera, et cetera. And we have a bunch of cassettes, not cassettes. I keep calling them cassettes. Cartridges. cartridges. A bunch of cartridges to uh, or, show you today. Or you can, you can get the brownie points by calling it your solid state software modules. Solid state software modules, yes. That's, uh, I think, an acceptable <laughs> term. At any rate, um, we uh, don't have much planned right now. Uh, so we are going to try and uh, see if we can't get uh, something up uh, for you. Well, as usual, I'm not doing too well here. Uh, we're going to try something else. Let's try, uh, let's start out with an old favorite since it's Super Bowl weekend. How about some football? I haven't played this in a long, long time. Length of each quarter in minutes. Now let's be merciful here. Let's <laughs> say three minutes, five minutes. Three minutes. Yeah. Can we can we do that for five minutes? I think we can These do it for five minutes. Two different, uh, two different models, and uh, player one, enter the team's name. Who we, player one will be Kansas, Kansas City, uh, KC, and uh, player two will be 49ers. Call the toss, 49. Heads or tails? Uh, tails. Tails. Uh, okay. Uh, so we'll call uh, tails nine. And we will. KC won the toss. Okay. KC was, uh, let's see, will you receive or kick? Call it. You want to receive or kick? Um, receive, I guess. Receive. Okay, receive is eight. And uh, let's see, look to the playlist. Uh, number one, to look to the playlist. Number two, to select a play. I think we probably probably want to select a, a look to the playlist to see what to call. Okay. Uh, I thought we were going to look through the playlist. Uh, I guess you got to get a kick off first so what do you want to do uh, I don't know kick off I guess Kansas City Ken uh, will probably want to kick off right 
or no, wait a minute. Uh, 49ers have the choice to kick off onside kick or uh, we'll go regular kick. That sounds reasonable. Okay. Press G. Oh, press G to go. That's how long it's been. And there's the ball up to the five, up to the 10, up to the 15, up to the 20, up and tackled almost at midfield. Woo! The ball is on the 50 yard line. First down, select plays. Okay. Um, does that look like standard play? A dive play? Okay. Okay with you? Here we go. Or do I have to hit go? G for go. Well, we gotta pick. We gotta gotta pick something. Uh, well, here we are. Ah, uh, delay penalty. Yeah, <laughs> we'll we'll refuse the penalty. Uh, select the play. You know, this would be a lot more interesting if we actually knew what the hell we were doing. Uh, I think we we need we need to select the plays. I don't know. Uh, anybody know how we work this? <laughs> Boy, I suppose I could. Boy, it has it been a long way. time? Anybody have any ideas? Mash key is another another software. penalty. Casey is moving backwards. Uh, now it's first and twenty. Uh, this is uh, not looking good for There's got to be a key that you can press here that will make something happen. What is that? I'm also in choice to come out at this point. Uh, timeout. G to go. 60 second timeout. G to go. We tried goal before. Select plays. I did bring, I did bring uh, joystick. Let's have a one. Off tackle. Adapter. All right. G to go. It was a Atari joystick. Yeah, they're Atari. Go back, draw. Oh, my Lord. But. Screen pass. Fire I pass. does some weird interleaving to. All right. We met. Joysticks on a simple. Line a three yard loss. This is getting worse and worse. Lines to energize a particular joystick in a specific It's line. second and 23. All right. It's this point, we, we, I think we need to go you know, off tackle. That's not going to work. Let's go with one. Halfback sweep. That sounds good. If only we could execute. Press G. Uh, Halfback sweeping around the right side. And he made a two-yard gain. Hmm. So now it should be about third and 21. Do we have a, do we have a, uh, a bomb? What the hell? Let's go for the bomb. If we knew how to make it go. Press G to go. All right. He's going to throw the bomb. He's got a man clear. Clear on the left-hand side. He's going to throw the bomb, and it is incomplete. Ah, well, Ken, the bad news is I think you gotta you gotta either try try that again or uh, or punt. What's it to be? Fourth, it's fourth and twenty-one. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ken says I, I would go with a punt right now. Uh, let's uh, punt. The bomb, or, or the bomb. You want to throw another bomb? All right, let's throw another bomb. All right. Two people that know almost zero about the sport. I think four. Punt, yeah. You're off your. Uh -oh. Say the name. The now it's. We know what it now involves. it's. Now it's. That's the one with the five yards more. All right. right. Uh, let's. Let's go with the. Let's go with the pump. With the punt. With the. Oh, let's go with the bomb. Oh, we'll throw them off. Throw them off. Come on. Boys and girls, if you're trying this at home, be sure and read the manual before you begin to play the game. Another another delay. This is ridiculous. Select plays. 
And I'll never expect this <laughs> the fourth and 31. All right. Um, enter. No. G for go. G for go. The bomb. Ah, tricky play. He's got a man open. Wide open down the left side. Let's hope he can grab it this time. And instead he's going to throw it right to the opposition. Well, and he's going to take it right in the end zone, looks like. No, he stopped at the five-yard line. Hmm. Imagine that. What a wonderful selection of plays. This, I suppose, is why I'm not a coach um, or a quarterback anymore. Okay. And yes, what the heck? Let's uh, let's blitz. Why not? They won't be expecting that, of course. Oh, good. We've moved them back five yards. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful game. Um, has anybody got any other suggestions of something we can play? Currently working to get in chat up. So maybe we Okay, some... where Jim is beavering away over here trying to get uh, something going. Uh, in the meanwhile, um, I'm doing my level best to discourage anyone from ever playing this game again. Uh, let us um, segue into something a little different. So, uh, another delay of the game. Well, uh, you can see that uh, we're very good on, uh, on defense, not so good on offense. So let's just uh, press this magic button, function plus, and yank the football cartridge out. What else have we got? Here's something called the protection game. Does anybody remember this? The rock the console game? Yes, I think that's how to protect the console. It uh, turns it right off. Okay, let's see if something will show up here. That for protector, number two for protector. Jim, I hope you're coming up with something over there. I'm working at it. Protector 2. This is an Atari game, I guess. Press enter to continue. I'm not sure we want to do that. Thanks very much. Ah, would someone else like to play this game? Or fire to begin. Well, we don't have a joystick. Do we, have a jo do we bring a joystick? Oh, we brought that joystick. How amazing. Oh, and a joystick adapter. Look at this. These are not just regular old joysticks. This is this is the real McCoy here. Look at that. That's oh, it's just a, it's a, a nicer, nicer um, micro switch joystick. Now, if we just remember how to plug these things in. Too, that one may be a quick shot. This one fits a quick shot. Oh, what? Oh, this is turbo on the bottom. Oh, they are both quick shot too. Turbo. Wow. Although they have slightly different turbo modes. One is. I see. You know, we, are we to be trusted? Are we to be trusted in turbo mode? Is that no? Right? I, I think they're off. I think okay. turbo mode is off. Turbo mode would be probably too dangerous for the likes of us. So if you want to turn the console off. And put yes, in. we will. We will turn off the music at the very least and plug this in if I can remember where it goes. No. Is it the real Boys and girls, it's been a while since poor old Opie here. So has. there are two nine-pin ports on the TI. One is in the back, one's on the side. Which one's the joystick? Oh. Or do I need to consult <laughs> consult the internet? One of them is a cassette. One of them is a cassette port, right? Yeah, one's a cassette port. One's a how how how, how Give bad? Give me a second. I'll actually. I'll how record. bad can it be? Well, <laughs> uh, some. Have we turned the chat feature on? If we, if yes. we, if we, uh, maybe we should turn the chat feature off. I mean, there's no sense in. Uh, <laughs> See, it's, it's, yes, no, no sense. Well, I mean, they might. Be, they ask, well, maybe they know. Yeah, maybe, maybe you can. Movies. Maybe someone can tell us. Can anybody read chats? Can anybody read the chat? I can't see it on the 
my my I computer right now is, is yet, the transmitter. I didn't get a chance to send out the meeting notices yesterday, so well, it may be will show up when they show up. Yes, the loyalists will be there, and they'll be uh, faintly amused, I suppose, by all this. Maybe disgusted. Who knows? There's something on there. It says something right now, but I can't read it. I also forgot to bring my glasses. We're uh, we're actually on time, I think, today, are we not? Um, um, yeah, we, yeah well, I think we, we actually did actually start possibly even less than 30 minutes behind wow. the clock hour. Wow, we are we are uh, incompetent as hell, but we are at least on the air. Yeah, but we were like all running around with our chickens. That's true, yes. So we, we, we have cut we off have, trying to get everything yeah, together. Yeah, we don't know what we're doing. Uh, Vic, if you're watching this, you can laugh. we really miss you, Vic. Yeah. <laughs> get... Uh, Get yeah, well soon, and uh, yes, we, we should we wish you the best for your family. Yeah, we should we should uh, do a shout out to uh, Vic's daughter Autumn, who is either expecting her first child or has just had uh, her young uh, son, I believe it's going to be, uh, or is, and um, uh, we hope that uh, everything went well and uh, or is going to go well, and uh, wish you all the best. And uh, Vic, if you're watching this. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate a lot more what you do every month here uh, because you actually uh, are familiar with some of these games. Well, we're going to uh, figure out in due time, uh, Jim is working away. What would be the worst that could happen if we plugged it into the wrong port? Uh, probably nothing, really, nothing. other than, oh, other than we might short something to ground. Oh, we might short something. Ah, oh, well, in that case, we won't do that. Do we need a joystick? We don't need a joystick. We do need a fire button, though, don't we? We need a fire button. This has a fire button, obviously. So our chances are what, 50-50 here? It is 50-50. 50-50. 50-50 is uh, better odds than you get at the lotto. Um, not... Uh, not good odds in Russian roulette, but uh, is this for a monitor hookup? Uh, what do we have here? Another cable. No oh, good. Is that a drive wire cable for your? Well, I got it from the arcade shopper. Yeah, yeah we're, I mean, we're finding some, we're yeah, finding new equipment all well the time, and uh, things are uh, getting very interesting here. Uh, or it might be some type of adapter to do some type of serial over the cassette. Why don't we, why don't we, we well, we're still trying to figure out. <laughs> Try another game. Another that. game, yes, another game. Let's have another game. Something that doesn't require any, any I should have brought Zero Zap. Zero Zap is my favorite game. Um, let's show something else. Where, I've got a mini mem here. I've got, uh, oh, oh. Um, we have this. We have lots of games. We have Buku games. Uh, if I could but read that, we would be more knowledgeable than we are. All right, so we have um, all kinds of uh, all kinds of things to choose from. Uh, most of which are not games. So let's hit the space bar and produce. Do you need 32K for that? Yes. So you're going to need to uh, plug in the um, nano PEB side port. Ah, well, we know where that goes at least. So we, we do need 32K for that? We might need it. Huh. Especially if it's an extended basic cartridge. So it goes like this. Well, I've got an extended basic cartridge I can plug in, but I can't plug both of them in. No, you the can't do it both at the same time. But extended well, I take that back. Extended basic technically does not require 32K, I think. How do you know? Uh, I don't want to break it. How, How about uh, can we hit extended basic on the cartridge first, and then will that automatically load extended basic and then play the game? Oh, well, this is what? This is the, this is the sweet, the. Um, um, is uh, this is not because this is well, this is yeah, this is a, a total uh, cartridge, and then the other one came from I think uh, Jim Fetzer, which is the second. Oh, we're gonna have a another small pause here while we 
Okay. And I think we one. have the council coming up. And that's and the, the, if we do, there you go. Uh, sure, we do. Oh, okay. With it or fixed card? N with it, not not fixed card. Okay. Well, we, we're, he's uh, right now just doing a demo of something on the yeah um, uh, extended basic two point seven suite. My problem is right now I can't see it. Very can't well. see so the can monitor. You, can you? Yes. All right. Let's just go for. Uh, let's go for. <laughs> I can't play ambulances. Anybody good at ambulance? Uh, okay, you want to sit down here? And, and, uh, I don't know if I'm good. You don't know how to play ambulance? We'll find out real quick. Well, here we go. A for ambulance. That's uh, mildly tricky music. Uh, here goes ambulance. And uh, I'm running this backwards i'm looking at this in reverse and ken uh i'm gonna leave this up to you <laughs> but we're not we're not we're not we're not in. plugged in <laughs> that was the dilemma of the, the, of the last uh turn the last off and plug at least one joystick in yeah well uh, it's just a little bell so just peel it off yeah we're gonna gonna pause here for a second while we try and figure out how to plug in the new joysticks for technical difficulty you know, this is really the keystone cops put on the show here today, aren't we? I'm going to turn the, I'm going to turn the console off while we do this. It uh, it keeps the smoke from coming out immediately. I think the, I think it's the one on the side, not the one on the back. Yeah, I think I think it might be this one. So, um, I, I seem to remember that. And then, do you want to put the, the joy, two joystick adapter in there, or? Oh, I don't think. Do we need two joysticks? And <laughs> for twice, let's twice just, the danger. Let's start with one. Yes, let's let's go with one first and see if it lets the smoke out. And if it doesn't, then then we can always uh, step up. This is what was that? Something flashed. Oh, I know that was a reflection in the screen. Yeah. Oh. When I first uh, when I first got into Skype, uh, I used to get these random screens on some kind of a canal. Uh, I think it was in France, and it would show up for a few seconds, and then it would disappear. I haven't seen it in years, but uh, it, it sort of reminded me of, of these random artifacts that come up. Well, all right, um, A for ambulance. Ken, can you see the screen? Do you want yes, to? Yes. Okay. I can. You know how that works? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, here. Well, I think you ended up in the file manager. Put that on. I think you ended up in the file manager and not the game. The what? The CF7 file manager Are and we? not the game. Oh, okay. I think you ended up in the file manager. I think don't mess with the uh, joystick control at the menu. You'll probably have to hit the uh, uh, function quit. Uh, function plus. And my old friend, function plus. Now we have. Uh, ambulance up there? I can't, uh, I can't see. It. That, no. Um, now we have no, ambulance. Yeah. Okay. So there's ambulance. And now we have to trip you up. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everybody at home wants to be The trick is to avoid running over anything, but you have to pick up the patients and get them back yeah, to the so hospital. The buildings that are blinking have a patient that requires assistance. I think you went off the screen. So try hitting uh, left. I mean, oh, there you go. Oh, you're going off the screen and I think you're dying. <laughs> So the patient's here at the time. So. so, like, if you come up to next to a blinking building, and I think you put the. Oh no, I, that's not you. I, the ambulance is not even moving. Uh, okay, maybe we got the wrong port. <laughs> well, it's really yeah, but the ambulance is over there. Is it? Is it possible that we the have joystick is not working at all? I was controlling. Were you controlling the ambulance? Yeah, you are controlling the I ambulance. I know, but I mean, before You're I was. Right. Yeah, uh, restart it. Okay, let's. 
Oh, well. Because yeah, the ambulance is not actually deploying. Is that fine? No, you think that's you, but it's not. The ambulance is the white vehicle over by the ah, red cross. But I was controlling that other thing. You were thinking you were controlling the ambulance. Well, that's fine. well something, it's something. I know. I stop. understand. Okay, so we're not um, probably not in the right port. Not or my joystick isn't working. One of the two. Hmm. I I think that probably the uh, the odds are. Let's let's hit the function buzz again here. Yeah, this is so this is incredibly turn uh, power off and yeah. then turn the CF7 off. And this is incredibly silly. Anybody looking at this at home must imagine that we're playing something that we've never seen before instead of having seen it 25 times. And a you computer that we've never seen before. The TI, but I thought, yeah, or, or that- I thought a single Atari stick was okay, but- I don't know, I'm not sure about that either, so. And, and then the other possibility too is, is it may be assuming a two joystick interface and might be- yeah, I wouldn't think one. you'd need two joysticks, and I think this is not, oh, well, if I turn it upside down and make, then it will go in. Okay, now let's okay, so let's try this on. on first, then the okay, and then the power. Okay, here we go. And there's the room we're in again. All righty, and now we have to hit that, and now we have to hit this. Oh, I'm good at this. And then this. Get rid of the music. Are we? No, we're still not moving. We're still not moving. Okay, well, let's move on to something that perhaps. Uh, doesn't require so much technical expertise as turning on a joystick. Uh, let's, uh, what, is there something else that, that will run by itself? Uh, let's see, Burger King, Buck Rogers, Breakthrough. <laughs> no. well, let's turn it off and unplug that just in case. Do what? Turn off the console. Okay, unplug this again. Turn off the P the nano PEB and no, unplug the joystick. Unplug there, the joystick. So we don't have any unexpected behavior. Yeah, that's that's always good. Um, although everything today is going to be unexpected, unexpected behavior. behavior. Yes, the theme that, of today's yes, it's, meeting. It's, it's, it's going to be uh, Vic. <laughs> we really miss you. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. Do we, maybe zero zap. Zero zap. We can run from the keyboard. I know that because that's. That's, that's the game I love to play. Because you don't have to do a damn thing. Um, let's turn this back on and see if we can find Zero Zap. And does anybody see Zero Zap down there? Oh, Solitaire. Oh, that would be much too difficult for us today. Uh, some days I can play Solitaire, not today. Um, let's see, that should, oh, we're back to that screen. And these are utilities, most of which we can really screw up if we give it a chance. Um, so let's see if there isn't something here that uh, Moon Mine, Ms. Pac Man. Can we do Ms. Pac Man from the keyboard? I don't know. We can give it a try. Ms. Those kind of games tend to be keyboard um, joystick driven, but pole position. Sometimes uh, they will provide. Uh, TI, I, I'm trying to read this backwards. TI Invaders, I know we can't do that. Uh, we need, for TI Invaders, I think we need a trackball, don't we? To make that don't know. work at all. Um, I thought we had more more games than that on this cartridge, but apparently not. Um, Donkey Kong, Burger Time, I know we can't do. Let's, well, maybe we can. Uh, let's, let's try. Well, hmm. It didn't like that. Well, let's try it again. Oh, uh -huh. uh, whatever. That looks like Space Invaders or something. And it's running autonomously, so. Uh, so far, we haven't blown anything up or crashed into anything. I don't know if we can, let's see, is this a, 
Nope, keyboard has no effect. Uh, still, still missing things. Ah, there we go. We managed to hit that. If that's the object of the game, then we're doing well. If it's not, then, I don't know, are we missing points by not hitting those things? We'll know soon. <laughs> we can only just continue to miss. Oh, we're, we're picking up points or something. Well, that was a disaster, whatever it was. And now something's bouncing at us. Ah, oh, good. We hit another one of those things. And we're rapidly running out of lives. Oh, I think. This is Buck Rogers and Dr. Tripod. Is that yeah. it? Is that what that is? What are the bouncing things? Well, they look like, like yeah. tripods from the, uh, the, the White Mountains. <laughs> I don't know. The White Vermin are. After yeah, they don't think they bounce. Well, let's effects. see. Keyboard has no effect whatsoever. So, actually, I think we're doing pretty well here. We've, uh, we've only crashed twice. We haven't hit one of the uh, bouncing things yet. In case anyone doesn't understand, at this point, we don't seem to be gamers. <laughs> um... I don't know what we are, but we're not gamers. <laughs> oh, they're called mission. Well, either the keyboard is going dead on us. Oh, wait. Oh, we hit something. We hit some, something on the keyboard works. Something, something worked nicely. Oh, here we go again. You can try maybe the function arrow keys and see if we need Function arrows? Or it's control. I, I'm. Whoa. I think we were doing better running without any control whatsoever. And the other thing that I'm thinking about is often uh, joysticks are matrixed into the keyboard. What is? The, do we have to have the function on up or down? Oh, or wait, the, wait, the alpha lock. Maybe okay. that's it. Maybe that's the, the answer here. The magic Let's see if we can avoid some of these things with the. With the alpha lock. Oh, sure. I think we're actually heading off the port here. Uh, you know, I, I could be wrong, and I'm often wrong, but I'm always confident. Uh, yeah. Well, um, it's, this we is. Got, uh, if anybody. Oh, we good. We have some chat. We yeah. have some chat here. It says you can steer with a joystick to shoot the aliens. So we've been having joystick problems. Yes. Uh, we're, we can we're try sorry. again with the alpha lock off, though. Oh, okay. So, uh, we'll so try. let's shut down the console. Oh, um, well, before that, maybe we'll step out of this, and we'll see uh, who who who's responding. Shut off the uh, nano PEB. Uh, Yin's was it okay? Heart thing? Ah, uh, you might ask if uh, where the joystick plugs in. Is it plug in? It's the side port. The side port. Oh, okay, we'll try. It. We'll we'll go for the side port again. Uh, or do you want to try the other joystick in case? That's the one I use. Oh, this, no. This, right? That's the one. Yeah. Try the other joystick. Okay, we'll... we'll we're, Just we're, so that we can make things even more complicated. Yeah, we, we can't, we can't not, possibly uh, not, not make really it worse, can we? Can we? Well, we'll actually solve the problem if, yes. it, if it works. If we can make it worse, don't worry. We will. Okay. Um, uh, P, nano PEB on first. Nano on. Uh, nano thing on. on. Nano PE box on. Oh, there we go. Computer on. Okay. Um, let's try ambulance again since we have so much experience with it. Uh, and we, oh, shut up. Um, here, somebody who knows how to play a game. Play a game. Ah, no, absolutely not a. Oh, we made the train move. Something made the train move. That's it. Fire. See if there's a, see if there's a rocket attack on the ambulance. Maybe uh, you know how they make can they can make red lights uh, turn green at yeah. the intersection. Maybe they can blow up cars or something as well. Oh, that didn't sound too good. Sound like a bomb falling. Yeah, so that's not that's not doing it. Um, well, there's another one. Though. Try the other game real quick. The other game. Okay, that was. Uh, 
Uh, Buck Rogers. I think. Buck Rogers, and and that was a D or something. Um, I think I just pressed. So you probably have to quit. Yeah, I'm probably have to quit this, and we'll go back here and go here and pick a, pick a letter. I can't see it. Uh, I'm sitting behind the monitor. That's D, uh, I believe. What is it? D. D. All right, D. Here we go again, so and D. it needs another D. Ah, it's a DD kind of thing. Uh, changing the alpha lock key position for us. It's alpha lock down, and that always is not good. Alpha lock up, they always say. Okay. I remember these things. Yeah, so I don't know. There may be some compatibilities with a straight. It, yeah, Atari, may not like Atari a, joystick. A straight Atari joystick. Okay, well, um, it was worth the experience. Boys and girls at home, remember this. Do not use these Atari joysticks unless you absolutely positively know what you're doing. And if, are we in turbo mode? Is that is that the No, answer? I don't think so. Could is we be so could yeah. we be doing it might be a converter, it might be just a two-port adapter. I haven't used it, so I have no idea. Hmm. Well so I feel like living dangerously. Well, um Let me try one more time. Yeah, uh, let's uh, stop this. Turn it off. And we'll tap this off. Turn and we'll turn off. this off. And we'll plug this in. Now, this all presupposes that we're actually in the right uh, port. Yeah, and we have the right adapter. Too. And then we have the right adapters and that these joysticks are, in fact, compatible. Right. I know one of them is actually a working joystick. The other one I didn't get a chance oh, to Oh, okay. Test. Well, this is... So what I would do is plug both of those in. Plug them both in, and one of them might work. And, uh, you know, stranger things have happened. It, uh, um, I'm not a religious guy per se, but I do believe in miracles. Yeah. So, uh, especially when it comes to computers, um, I'm going to set this aside so it doesn't get sure. trampled on. And this is going to go upside down, I guess, because of the way this thing lays. And uh, that one goes in that way, and that one goes in that way. And here we go again, boys and girls. This is, don't try this at home, by the way. Uh, this could be uh, very frustrating to anyone who actually knows what they're doing. And pick a letter, any Let's letter. A, a D again? Yeah. A D. And that should give us a reflection. And we press D again, and sure enough, it'll work the second time. What was that? The other joystick. It's, it's, so. Oh. That's a working joystick. Oh, no, it's, it's forcing it into a certain position. Try the other stick. And try changing position of the alpha lock. Oh, the alpha Making lock. sure auto fire is off. Auto, off. Is auto fire off? So off. In the middle, I guess. Is that what that is well, in the bottom? different. Both sticks have a different position. Not is, this, is this something on the side? It's just a grip. Oh, just a grip. Okay. Don't do both at the same time. Oh. So that one looks like this one is working. Here. I'll give you the working one so that you can shoot at something. And so what do you press to find? Press the trigger. At least that's what I pressed. Oh. <laughs> Try the other stick. Because the problem is you were both pushing them at the same time. Uh, try, try doing it. Oh, it fires when you move to the side. Yeah, so oh, how novel. We may not even have the right table of after. It's how novel. Way. It's, it's, uh. That's just. There you go. Yeah, I, uh, it looks like we don't even have the right table of after. <laughs> but it's not straight wired compatible. Oh, Lordy. Yeah, we found it something. Okay. Maybe, maybe we can use this information. In another game. If you move the what happens if you move it the other side? It doesn't shoot it back. Yeah, they both fire when you press the side. Both of them, yeah, both of them fire. Yeah, so my guess is that the, the joystick adapter is not the right joystick adapter. I think I just dropped an atomic bomb. Shoot it. Okay, I, I think we should probably give up on the joystick. Yeah, uh, yeah we kind of see that way. Alrighty, so let's, let's exit the game. Oh, well, let's exit the game first. 
power down. Power down the nano thingy. Unplug the sticks. Unplug the sticks. But we do know that this is the cassette, uh, the, uh, the joystick, joystick port, port now. Because it is reading it and reading yeah, the it's, correct it's, data it's, off it's, of it. Yeah, it's firing the, uh, firing the joysticks. When we when we when we turn it when we turn it to the side like that is when it fires. There are the joysticks and here's the adapter. I'll have to do some homework on that. This is and, the first uh, time all of this. that stuff is very interesting. Um, do we want to tackle um, another game, that, or do we want to go back to Protector? I've got let's say I've got uh, or do we want to show the DM two thousand or? Okay. Here's an extended base. What else did I bring here? Uh, but I thought I had brought. Now this is DMK, DM2K, 2.4. Uh, then you can. Know, well, actually, you probably need the disk manager on the Nano PEB if you want to actually look through stuff on the Nano PEB. Oh, okay. So we need a what? Uh, disk manager. So what you do is you turn on the Nano PEB. First of all, we got to. You can probably one. leave that in there because we'll probably need extended basic or, or an editor at some point. Oh, okay. Point. So we turn on. But we got to this. Turn so on we got to turn that on first. Okay, okay. turn on the nail on first. Turn on, the turn on this. And can you give me a number here? I can't. Um, or I could just use an editor, uh, EA cartridge or a. Uh, oh, as long as we've got it in there, let's. Well, I think if you just hit A to exit to go into extended basic, I think that cartridge a, by extended the, basic. Yeah, I think that a cartridge will auto has an auto loader on it. It will load the CF seven. Okay, can you manager. can you read that from where you're saying? Okay, so we have number one file, uh, well number two volume utilities and number one number one file utilities, number two volume utilities, and number three miscellaneous utilities. I think we need to. Select the volume first, so let's look at the volume utilities, number two. Number two. Let's do number one for catalog. Excuse me. Uh, that should work. And again, I should have brought my binoculars. Um, uh, any number, I guess. Let's start with number one for the first volume. Number one. Hit enter. And and enter. enter. Ah. We have fabulous default cartridge that comes with it. What's okay. That? So I can't. So it's basically the catalog program, the configuration manager, some examples and stuff for the, for the uh, Nano PEB. We should be able to go down. Let's see, can we go down? Can we do a load? Uh, and control just E. Let's just see what page up and Control X the page down. Uh, control. But I think we have less than a page for with worth of file information there. Um well, control X is not going down. Yeah, because you don't have more than a single page of oh. information. So, so I would suggest, it would just be a load, would it not? Or are we are we in What I would suggest doing is at this point, um power it off, you know, power off the console, power off the nano PEB. Power down. And have can get the CF card that Vic gave him at the last meeting. Okay. And install that. Sure, turn this on. Uh, yeah. Well, first turn the console off. Console off first. Oh, now the nano now off. The nano PEB. And now. Now some magic occurs. And so get Vic's card. Yeah, get the card that Vic gave you. Okay. Okay. I don't know if we're getting any audio at all right now. I don't know how close talking. No, we are. We are getting audio out on it. We are. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. If you if you um, are sitting in front of the mic, you're heard very loudly. If you're sitting off screen somewhere, you can be heard mutely. Oh, God. Okay. So if I tell any dirty jokes, everybody in the world will hear me. You know, okay. Um. Well, I suppose we should mention one more time that uh, this is kind of an ad hoc show. We are putting together a system full of all kinds of different disparate parts. And uh, since our president, who normally brings all of his equipment, is not here with us today, um, we have brought, everybody here has brought something. <laughs> it's, a, it's a potluck. And uh, we are, as some potlucks, Turn out, you know, six salads, 
and um, no entree. But we have all of the different parts that don't seem to all play well together. Um, the joysticks, for instance, um, did not play well together. And we also have um, so carefully a couple of people who know what they're doing and, and one who has no clue whatsoever. That would be me. Um, so uh, we have lots of cartridges. We have bag old cartridges, uh, some of which uh, have games, many of which have utilities since I'm not a gamer and uh, they're my cartridges. But now we have a card with all sorts of goodies on it. I'm going to take this out for a second. And, make and I have no idea what we're going to see next. This is pretty exciting, actually. I'm sure it's exciting for all those people at home. Kids, kids, kids see around the corners. Yep. And um, I'm sitting behind the um, the monitor, so I can't actually see the screen. Why I'm in front of the computer, I have no idea since I'm the least knowledgeable person in the room. Uh, I think we'll let Jim sit over here. Then he can, uh, or can. Muck through it. Yes, and, and we'll just, we have... Okay, so, so we're going to on. Nano on, console on, and what do we want? We want extended basic? Yeah, no, let's try extended basic. What, what I don't know that. A? Hey, I don't know that. Uh, a? Yeah. I don't know that. Uh, or um, EA? Uh, we got that on there as well, I think. Yeah. Okay, uh, did someone read the screen? Or? Yeah, it's just giving you an extended basic ground oh, okay. prompt. So if and you give me a second, I will get up the manual for the CO, for the on EB. And while Jim is uh, on his computer uh, checking something, let me uh, throw in a word for the uh, the, the TI International World Fair, uh, which is coming up on October the 24th. Uh, it's had to be on the 24th because the day we wanted, which was the 31st of October, turns out to be Halloween, turns out to be... Um, a kid's party until 12.45, which means that probably we wouldn't get set up till 2 o'clock in the afternoon, which means that um, we, since we usually go till about 4.30, maybe 5 at the, at the very latest, uh, we would not be able to get the, uh, all of the demos in, and, and uh, um, we'd be paying full day's rate for uh, a quarter of a day's time, and that didn't work out. So it's going to be the 24th of October. And uh, the 24th of October is not a home football game for Northwestern University, which is uh, one of the other qualifications that we always have to uh, have for an open day. Uh, if Northwestern is playing at home, even if they're not playing well, uh, they still fill up uh, hotel rooms uh, in a 10 or 15 mile uh, radius around here. And uh, since we're on the lake, uh, there is no nothing to the east of us practically, so everything is to the north, the west, or the south, and most of the uh, accommodations to the south rent by the quarter hour, so you really don't want to go there. The ones to the north are extremely expensive, as are the ones actually in uh, Evanston, so it, it comes right down to just avoiding uh, Northwestern uh, home football games. Then we have some choice with uh, some hotels. At any rate, uh, the 24th of October will be the date. Uh, we'll have the usual, hopefully, we'll have the usual uh, Friday night get-together, uh, which has uh, been successful in the last couple of years. Uh, last year, they, uh, uh, the Holiday Inn even printed up a, a, a nice uh, souvenir menu for us. And um, we, um, uh, I believe there might be a uh, concurrent event being held at the uh, uh, Hilton Garden Inn, uh, uh, where some of our members have uh, set up their equipment uh, on the Friday. Then on the Saturday, of course, the fair itself. After the fair is over, uh, we have a banquet, and then we have the infamous pub crawl. And with a little bit of luck, if we have some decent weather, the pub crawl may go more than one place. Last year, it was so cold, and two of our favorite places had recently uh, been closed. Uh, in fact, three of our places uh, had recently been closed. Two of them had been torn down. 
uh, and they put up a 30-story building in that, that area. And um, one of them uh, where they had uh, 51 different types of beer uh, in a machine where you put your, your card in and uh, just poured whatever you wanted in it. It uh, added up the total on your credit card. Uh, that was also closed. So we ended up uh, at a very crowded uh, Celtic knot where they were uh, they uh, put a table together for us and we uh, managed to uh, to be in there but it was very difficult to talk from one end of the table to the other you couldn't hear what was going on so um it um they the pub crawl in years past has taken us all over the town seven or eight uh, different uh, pubs that we go to and usually we try to find somewhere it's quiet enough so we can talk uh, although finding a quiet place on a saturday night in the college town is as you can imagine, probably not the easiest thing to do, but we we usually pull off uh, at least in part. So, um, but uh, when it's raining, as it has been one year, uh, the pub the pub crawl went on, but we all got soaking wet. Uh, in years where it's really super cold, we all get uh, cold. Uh, last year, we just managed to avoid most of that by staying in one place for most of the pub crawl. At any rate, um, I think we're ready to uh, to go. So yeah. um, we can give it a try and see what, right. what happens. You want to talk us through it? Okay. So and tell me what to do. Sure. Okay. So we're going to start with attempting to navigate through the nano PEDs um, uh, disk volumes and see if we can find something interesting to run. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to execute a call mount command. Call mount? Yes. From from right where we're from, at. Yeah, from basic. Yeah. Parenthesis. Well, I know we have one. Shift here. nine, I believe. Shift nine? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm good. I'm so good yeah, at this. Yeah, so remember, we're not yeah. using a modern PC. That's here, right. I have so to. those things are kind of... And it's a one? So, it? yeah. Um, well, actually, let's mount, let's mount the first disk image to the third disk drive so we can always reference it. So we're going to do a three for the third three. disk. Yeah. And then a comma. Comma. And can... then a one. And this is going to... One? Yeah. And then close the parenthesis. Okay. And in theory, if we if, if it's not going to bitch at us because we're in lowercase, uh, <laughs> um, when we hit enter, it should mount the first disk image on the Nano PEB to device disk three. So now we should be able to do an old, an old space. I don't remember, do we need quotes for quotes. file name? I think we figured that out, didn't we? And then DSK, I think that has to be capitalized. That has to be capitalized, okay. So I'll put the... Uh, three. DSK dot three? No, uh, three, I think it's... Three. And then dot... Dot? Catalog. Catalog. And in theory, if you've got the standard utilities on... Disk image one. Do you ever wonder why catalog is spelled without the U U E at the end? Well, anyway. Yeah. Uh, close quotation. Close quotation. Uh, whoops. That's a function. And provided we weren't making assumptions and everything behaves as expected, it should it bring enter. catalog. Yeah, hit uh, enter. So maybe no, there we go. So maybe it does need um, the alpha lock? Yeah, possibly. Well, well no, I don't remember. I think it means it took the the command, but it failed to find the file, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe catalog is not on. Um, maybe just cat instead of catalog. See, yeah. So I, the problem is, is I don't know the complete geometry of that cartridge, so I don't know what Vic has on it. So we might want to switch to a disk manager. Uh, Okay. No, it, should, it should it should keep it should keep the between restarts. It should keep the partition selected. So if you hit uh, function quit, 
At least we know what that is. And then go to E, Disk Utilities. Hit Enter to continue. Let's go to Disk Manager, I guess, because I know what that what the interface looks like for that. Okay, what number? Uh, two. Uh, okay, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, okay, copy initialize. No, we yeah, don't want the, we don't want those. We want to hit uh, function back. I believe function back. Function back. Let's go to one file utility. So we have a catalog function. Okay. Uh, function back. Let's try disk utilities. Three for the money. Directory comment. Let's try two. Ah. So that's what's already mapped to disk one because you kind of went through it. Let's look at what's on disk three real quick. So number three, you might have to hit function back. Okay, so two for disk directory, and then type uh, three for the drive. Yeah, so it looks like the same directory, right? Or am I wrong? So they might all be mapped to the first partition. Tell you the truth, I can't for just um, yeah, I can't remember from minute to minute myself sometimes. I'm looking um, at the screen on the transmitter and therefore uh, everything, I'm everything backwards. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you want to reposition, like you know, move you no, further that's, that's, this I, way I, or move I'm, the I'm, I'm fine back. with this as long as you can read it. Uh, I can read it okay. Uh, I can probably read it better if I take the reading glasses off. Hmm. <laughs> uh, since it's that far away. Back might be the best. Yeah, that's probably the easiest thing if you want to do that. What's if you that? want to move the monitor back a little bit, and then well, we, the we don't we don't want to change. Um, we don't want to make it any harder for the people at home to see it. Well, I mean, it we it, can work this out. I could sit on the other side, or Ken can sit over here. Or, no, no, we can move them both. Yeah. We can, or we could actually you turn. We, we could turn the whole thing around. Um, yeah, since we're so, all on one side. Yeah, so like we're all on. Yeah, but then the broadcaster yeah, will be turn in the way. So turn it forty-five. Turn it forty-five degrees. Well, so move it back. Move it back as far as it's comfortable for how in that position to look. Well, then let's move that back up because. Well, we no, we're going to do that in a second. Look here. at this first, and tell us when it's in a good position. Oh, I can see. Position. I can see it fine here. But okay. Now we'll move this forward. There we go. Or we could turn the whole thing at a forty-five degree angle. And both of them at the 45 degree angle, then we could all see the, the screen. No, we're probably okay. That's we don't, we don't have to have it at right angles to the table. I know, but sometimes it's easier to deal with that since you're using a laptop okay. to, to right. broadcast around. And now, and now I have to make a decision here about what to look at. Oh boy. Hmm. Well, this is just giving us a, a directory of contents. And then you can okay. hit enter to continue. Enter to continue. To show the next page of this cat. So uh, Discat is probably what he's using for his preferred catalog program. Do we want to look at that? Oh, no, or are we already in a disk catalog? We're already in a catalog uh, utility using um, you know, basic 2.7 suite. Mad but scientist. In, in, a, in a world where you know where if we were just using a standard extended basic cartridge, we, I don't think we would have any cataloging function and we would need to load a catalog program to view anything. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's why the um, the uh, CF7 slash Nano PEB file manager is kind of a convenient tool to do that with because it can view a disk catalog by any uh, disk image number on the CF7 or Nano PEB without much, diff much ado about anything. Um, But uh, yeah, I guess we can start looking through it and see if we can either find a copy. But we know if, if this is an indicator, probably uh, Vic is probably using the disk cat program as his default catalog. Okay. Program. Is there, is it now, we just hit the number here and it goes right to whatever. 
It might load it if it's smart enough. Mm. I don't know. We'll find out. Let's see. Uh, switch arrow memory. Yeah, that's a program. I don't. I don't think. No, I think it just gave you the next page. Yeah, that's the next page. I don't know if we can. Can we? I wonder what happens if we hit enter again. I wonder if we go back to the beginning. Go, beginning. go back yeah. to the beginning. Oh, okay. That is clever. All right, then. Uh, what do we want to do? Pick a. Pick something that everybody likes. Uh, art bar. A that's a word game, right? I have no idea. Or beeline. I don't know. We can try. Not a gamer. Something. Not a gamer. I I think. Well, it's more like edutainment. Edu like edutainment. Game. Well, what do you want to do? Well, you can see hit the number and see if it will load it. All right. Uh, number one. You want to see what it does. Gives uh -huh. you a prompt. Oh, that might be a file comment. No, no, no. no that's don't start not. writing stuff to that. No, we don't want to do that. Let's go um, this way. And uh, no destructive backspace. <laughs> that's okay. Let's hit the space bar to clear it, I guess. Or maybe not. Yeah. Or hit uh, function back, maybe. Yeah, it's clearing something. <laughs> Hopefully we didn't commit a, a, a blank comment to that file. Yeah. Uh, find string. Compare this. Well, we don't have any disk to compare. Yeah, them, so. so let's let's back out of this. Okay. And do we, are we sure we're going to quit? I believe we are sure. We're sure. Okay. Um, well, most of the utilities right now are not what we're really looking for. We're looking for something that... Right, so let's, can, let's go back uh, to, let's hit A for extended basic. And then let's try old. Or space in quotation. DSK. Did I hit an extra space in there? Let's see. Nope, okay, I did not. Okay. Um, do we need a cap? Uh, I think it needs to be in caps, but okay. it might be. We don't need any dots. No dots. I think it's disk. Let's do one dot um, disk cat. Disk cat, okay. Was it D-I-S-K or just D-S-K? D-I-S-K, I believe. C -A -T. And a quotation? Could be. Oh, yeah, close to quotation. And that's no. it? Uh, hit enter. Okay, maybe nah, that's not it. Okay. Or maybe it needs to be lowercase. I don't know. I haven't really used the uh, extended basic. To, to or was it just DSK cat? I don't know. It could be DSK cat. Um, As I said, you know, my memory. I mean, we're big at we're big at saving, you know, bytes in in TI. So I'm I'm thinking, uh, I don't know, <laughs> or it might be the dot that they don't like. Uh, but we can. We well, can, I thought the dot was a delimiter between the device name, which is DSK one, two, yeah. or three. Or well, what we can do is we can go back and look at the the. Uh, the thing right now and see yeah. what the see if it's disk or disk. Yeah, we can. Disk or disk or disk. <laughs> so if you hit function <laughs> function quit. Or just function back maybe. That's right, function I back. I don't think function back, function I think you out of the running part. Okay. All right. And file manager disk utilities that is an E I believe. Let's yep. did we not we did just we, went back. We went our function no. back. Function back, okay. Okay, so I think it's going to be E, just utilities. E. I know the caller isn't perfect on that. Um, it's a little bit challenging to read. Yeah. Hit a, hit okay, the, this is John Birdwell's. Yeah, enter. And then we are going to go to three disk utilities. And then two directory comment. And then hit drive one up. Enter. Oh, yeah, it is DISK. Yeah. So I may be casting that wrong, or maybe it doesn't need would, to be capitalized. 
Um, well, you know, I think they all were. I think I had the alpha lock down for. Well, I know in, in standard extended basic, but remember we have um, the great kazoo to. Oh yes, yeah. so, okay. There are some enhancements, so it might be. And we can't get there just by hitting the five, huh? I don't think so. Well, let's just hit the five. Because I think that just nope. puts us into combat mode, which we don't want. Yeah, we uh, want control, uh, function back. Function back. Boy, are we. Yeah. And what do we do here? Uh... Oh, we do a disk report, I suppose. But that's well, probably print, intended to print something. Well, let's find out. And it just wants to know drive one, and we hit enter, and it says disk name. Oh, there it goes. Did you see that? Everything flashed across the screen, so let's try that again. Watch this. Gave us uh, a complete report, just like that. Yeah, and and who to, says TI is a slow computer? And it was probably you know, either trying to push it out the parallel port that doesn't exist or the serial port on the line of the EV, which has no printer attached to it. Oh, 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 God. Uh, that's uh, how quick can you read? Let's see. Let's try this. I just that's it. Yep. Well, uh, in that case, what I should have done is I should have brought a printer <laughs> since we have you know a car load anyway. I brought a printer and that Axiom interface that I have that will print everything, you know, and just shoot it right out. You don't even need a P box and uh, shoot that right to uh, but then we couldn't plug this in because this. What, does this have what kind of a port does that have on it? Does that have a serial port? Or what is that? A, serial port. Serial port. Uh, well, uh, the PIO is a parallel port, right? Right. So, so that would be the CF7 variant of the Nano PE uh, that have a uh, parallel port on it. So, but we could then print directly from, from this to a printer, right? Yeah, if you had a serial printer or some type of printing subsystem that works mm -hmm. from a serial port, you could print from that. I think, I think what I've got is an old... Um, uh, in the old days, jet. though, printers tended to use the parallel port. Yeah, I think I, I, I have to print through PIO. Yeah. However, there were usually higher-end printers that were PostScript ready or such that would use a serial, would also have a serial port interface. Hmm. I have no no clue. Like Apple tended to gravitate towards serial ports as their alternative. I have a serial port printer then because I have an Apple printer. Depends how old it is. Oh, it's old. Listen, everything I have is old. I went to uh, Apple Store yesterday to uh, find I out. Think, I think I actually have somewhere in a box sitting in the back of storage an IEEE 488 interface printer, mm. which are not very common. That's the, only, that's the only one I've ever actually seen in person. That wasn't some type of line printer or some type of uh, uh, like thermal paper tape. Mm, I've got a uh, I've got a thermal thermal printer that doesn't work unfortunately. I went to the Apple store yesterday because I've been getting these telephone calls saying that Apple support is calling me and saying that there's been suspicious activity uh -huh. on my account, which is a scam. Apple doesn't call you, I found out. So, but I went to the Apple store and I said, "Look, I've been trying to text uh, using my old uh, Apple," and they went, "Oh, you got one of the original ones." Oh, look at this. And they called people over to take a look at it. And they said, oh, you need to buy this new one. I said, no, I don't. I'm, I'm perfectly fine. No, 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 no. It's going to burst into flame. I said, what? Yeah, you see how it's bent? I said, what do you mean bent? Well, it's the battery inside. It's going to blow up and burn your house down. I said, no, it's not. They said, oh, yeah, and you'll never be able to text on it. I said, well, look, I tried to text the other day, and it sent me the six-number six code that showed up on my newer uh, iPad. When I entered it, it still wouldn't work. Well, wow, yeah. I said, do you put a space between the, the code? and that? So we did it again. And sure enough, I put that code in, or the next code. Dang, guess what? Everything worked. I don't need to buy a brand new $359 uh, computer or the Apple uh, iPad Pro uh, or one of the other damn $700 things. And then the $250 for the keyboard and $90, $99 for the pen. And I don't need all that. I could just if I want to text, I can text on my 20-year-old, 15-year-old uh, iPad. They were very disappointed. 
Um, of course. You would think that they would be happy that they'd solve my problem. And the kid who just told me that he uh, he had seen one of those when he was doing his uh, doctorate. Yeah. Um, but he hadn't seen one in years and years and years. And, and I think he wanted to buy it from me, <laughs> even though it might burn his house down. Um, uh, and we walked out of the store with, you know, at least some information that we could use for a change instead of the usual $500 investment that right. duplicates everything. Sales. Yeah, right. And so, uh, but it was the same guy, the, the, the guy who solved the problem in the end was the same guy who set the uh, iPad up for me a few months ago when I had managed to screw it up so badly that it was totally useless. And he had to go back through some server somewhere and reset all the codes and everything else. Anyway, the same guy who's been with Apple, he said, for 27 years uh, and getting ready to retire. I can imagine. <laughs> imagine they won't let him go. He was the only one who knew what the hell he was doing. Um, at any rate, the guy uh, gave me good information. And uh, so now I know what suspicious activity uh, on my uh, account means. Not too worried about that. My old app, my old iPad is still kicking along, but I can't use Skype on it. I can't use a few more things since it's only up to iOS 5.5 or something. Anyway, that's not getting us uh, any beyond uh, this report here. So, um, and all of our viewers, all 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 one of our viewers, um, maybe getting a little disappointed at this show. Heaven forfend. Now, um, what are we up to? Any ideas? Ken? Um, <laughs> Is that another one? That's, uh, I think that's Jim Fetzner's reconstruction of Tony Nair's. Uh, cartridge. Yeah, right? which is what we're running right now. Yeah, we have the original here that I got from Tony. Um, just before he died, it's it's really a shame. We've uh, we've lost so many really talented, really promising people uh, in the TI community over the years who have contributed so much. Um, people like Bruce Harrison and John Guillaume and uh, on and on and on. Um, uh, uh, so many, so many of the uh, John Birdwell uh, in our group, uh, so many people have uh, passed away long, long before their time um, who could have contributed so much to uh, uh, the TI community and did, in fact, contribute a lot before they passed and, and yet could have contributed so much more. Yeah, but they were still producing things up yeah. to the day they, they left us. You know, if Mozart had lived another 30 years, think of what he might have written. Um, so, um, only the good die young, right? Yeah. I should live to be about 150. <laughs> At any rate, um, what's next? What are we going to try? Well, so I've got an extended base of reference up. It looks like what, what I was telling you to do is correct, but I don't know. I don't know why it wasn't loading. Unless we're loading it from the wrong utility, unless that's like an editor or somewhere. Well, you want to go to EA? We could do that. I've got uh, I've got an EA cartridge. I've got uh, the EA on here, I think. Is it let's not? Try, let's try EA on there. Okay, so. so let's function quit. Function quit. Are we sure? Yeah, we're sure. Okay, and EA is. Um, writer assembler B. No, oh, oh, there it is. Yeah, B. What a too far low. Okay. Ah, here we go. Word processor. And I don't remember what the what it was. If it's if all it's right, what do we want? Is that B. three or no two? Um, it's, that, yeah, it's it's three. Is it not? Right. Three. No, I think we need. I think we need to use either the load, load and run, or run. Uh, hit uh, function back. Right here. Try five. 
then VSK one. Dot, I dot, presume. Yeah. Disk cat. Disk cat, spelled out. D I S K C A T. Uh, error. Name too long. Name too long. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, sorry, folks. I wish I had more time before the show to try some of this stuff out, but. Well, as we've said many times wait a minute. today, One, two, that's seven. Aren't we allowed eight letters? Or eight, eight spaces? Unless it's going to imply the first desk. So just try disk cat. Okay, let's let's try that. Press uh, enter to continue. Okay, let's just try disk cat. Okay, name two, two long. Okay, name let's try long. control back and uh, function back. How about it was just DSK1? Did we, not, did we not get? Let's yeah, uh, try to continue. Okay, let's try this again. All right, what was that, B? Yeah. And run program file. Maybe maybe six. that's six. Yeah. Uh, okay, file name. Let's try. I, I hope that the alpha lock is actually working. It doesn't seem to want to go up very far or down very far. Let's try a ship instead. Um, one dot. What was a diskette? Yeah. I'm doing this one-handed. Which is <laughs> probably as fast as Bane doing with all ten fingers. Let's just give it a shot. What's worse can happen? One moment, please. So, oh, it gave us a moment there before before I told us. a different error. So. Yes, right. Okay. Um, I right, press in a code seven. Maybe you know what a code seven is. Code Vic. I know what code eight is, and that uh, uh, medical discharge for no uh, for mental reasons. I feel like that's what I should have right now is a code eight. That's uh, code seven. Um, one for text editor, two for text format, three for assembler. Is that what we want to go back to assembler? Uh, is this to us? I so I don't know. I don't know enough about what that. What that. I would think that the diskette program would be a basic program. It should at least be, be runnable either in standard console basic or um, or extended basic. Because that's what most people are going to use. But every once in a while, you have executables that are editor assembler, and there are a couple different types of editor assembler binaries. Like there's one that's referred to as EA5, which is Option five on the on the editor assembler cartridge, which escapes me. I don't know if EA the five is the same option on here as it is on the actual editor assembler cartridge. Um. Well, I can I can pop the editor assembler cartridge in. We just happen to have one, but I think it's it's got to be the same uh, same. Well, my issue is is that it's got the word you know TI writer stuff in there as well. So it makes me wonder if you move stuff around. Well, even on a TI, even on a TI, yeah, well, uh, TI writer is an EA program, is it not? So it has to have editor or somewhere. Well, I um, thought it had its own sub. Um, well, maybe I'm wrong. I I it. Uh, I, it's quite possible. Um, T -t 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 -t. What do I got? I've got editor assembler cartridge here. We want to try it on that. Yeah. Uh, what is this? This is I've got a mini mini mem. I have no idea what's on the mini mem at the moment. Probably I think we put something. We saved at the last meeting we had it at. Yeah, that was that was a a few months ago. Yeah, next week uh, is your uh, uh, maker Chicago classroom computing. Chicago. Yeah, that thing. Um, if I brought a uh, if I brought a, a flash drive that's not working, uh, you think we could uh, 
steal the contents out? You try. You try. Uh, I've seen. I've seen on YouTube. They, they they seem to be able to do it somehow. I don't know how they do it, um, but I would like. It's got all of my uh, issues of uh, one of the newspapers I wrote for uh, on it, and I'd like to like to retrieve it. A uh, guy in um, West Virginia. I sent him a hell of a lot of uh, newspapers. Uh, Twenty years of, uh, of newspapers. Not all of which I had written in, but he, he compiled it all together for the um, uh, a group from West Berlin that uh, has my bound copies, I found out from him, uh, when it was accidentally sent to the wrong person who then died and whose widow then sent my stuff to this group. Uh, it's kind of a long, complicated story. Anyway, I said, look, you know. Uh, it's been gone through by a thousand people now, so the pages are kind of torn up. Um, stuff's 50 years old, so uh, in some cases. And uh, you know what happens to newsprint after 50 years, especially when people are going through looking for the pictures that, you know, they want to see. And, uh, so editor number three is uh, this slash fix 80 file. Uh, sometimes... These files are auto start, and other files will require program to launch, um, which we think is start often. And uh, error assembler E5. Ooh, we have more chat. Number five program is typically, if you see file names like E2, 1, E2, 2, on the test. I should, I should be watching this on, number five. on YouTube so I can read the chat. Can you read the chat? Oh, you can't read the chat. Oh, I can. Uh, I yeah, we've got a recommendation recommendation of trying loading it without the DSK one. Uh, we got someone that's laughing at us. Oh well, yes, I'm sure that there's a whole bunch of those. As well as someone asking us the same question is uh, disk cat spelled with DSK rather than DISK. Mm -hmm. I believe it is that. And uh, and then also, uh, Mr. Hardweed was uh, saying six letters is an assembly label. So we were in the other option and was giving us the error file too long, you know, name too long. It, it, I think what it is expecting is some, some standardized prefix on it or suffix on it, and therefore uh, there's, a fi there's a file name with it of six characters mm. in that case. But, well, um, we, we but, managed um, to interest our, our loyal viewers yeah, um, uh, by although, being you know, one, of, one of our viewers, Who's laughing? Let me, let one me. of our viewers who, who did the laugh out loud uh, was uh, as a uh, nickname of A4000T, so he's you know of the Amiga heresy. A4000, I don't know who that is. Uh, who else is who else is uh, out there? I can't. Yeah, so I just see Jens and, uh, and uh, A4000T. There. Well, tell them we, uh, it's, it's, it's like the old line about uh, uh, if there are any typos in this store, we put them in absolutely on purpose just for the enjoyment well, of those who enjoy finding them. Without Vic being here, this is certainly the Chicago TI Users Group meeting PEBCAC edition. That's it, yeah. It's the, uh, it's the, uh, as I'm sure, the ad hoc. Uh, February. And in this case, it's probably not person, but person is between the keyboard. And yes, and, and I think that sure. usually we do this on the 1st of April, but this year we've moved it up uh, in honor of something or other. Uh, this is uh, St. Doofus Day or something. I don't know. Uh, we don't know what we're doing. We just, you know, we, yeah. we need more games. Maybe we should go back and yeah, play football back for them. Gameplay. I guess, but the problem is we have no joysticks. No problem is we have no joysticks, and we can't. We don't have. Well, we do know we do. We do have a fire button now. <laughs> we do have a fire button. We've located a fire button. Yeah, by pushing right on. By the pushing stick. right on the on the joystick. Yes, um, but that's a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a disadvantage. Um, pushing left on the joystick does absolutely nothing. I thought maybe it would you know bring the the. Uh, the shell back to us and blow us up. <laughs> it didn't. All right, I know we've got games. I know we've got games. We yeah, can, so let me hand the microphone back to you. Oh, no. No, no, no. no you're doing fine. Uh, oh, dear Lord. Um, well, 
I've got my Lumberjack shirt on today. Okay, so I could viewers see. in the peanut gallery, any recommendations for games that do not require joysticks? Yes, yes. I'm a Lumberjack and I'm okay. Da, da, da. Um, well, let's see what we've got. Let's see what the choices are. Uh, so I think it's what function, function this and that. Ask if there's anybody out there who would like to see a specific game messed up, uh, played. Um, pole position. Oh, that was one of my favorites because I could crash the car in, in less than two seconds. Um, let's try. Where is pole position? Uh, that's number. Can, can anybody get a better? Can anybody get a better view? No, a uh, non-parallax uh, view. What's up? Is that J? I think it's or J. Pole J? position? That's no, I don't think that was J. No, was that's Pac-Man. Pac <laughs> you can try and see if it'll work. <laughs> yeah, let's see, if, let's see if Pac-Man works. What the hell? Press 2 for two-player game. Oh, that's, that's, to be joystick -driven. No, we don't want that. Uh, do we need a joystick for Pac-Man? Don't know. Well, we can, we can keep firing that to the right. Uh, level 1, yeah, it's just... It's just Nothing else. We can play a little annoying music for everyone at home. Well, you can try mashing keys and see. No, uh, oh, wait, wait. Where is where is the? the you just went right. Did that? Whatever key you hit. Oh, now I went left. And now I went down, and I'm not touching any of the keys. So oh, it's going to be moving in the direction until you get another key or until you get a ball. I don't think I have any effect on that whatsoever. Except to make the screen go a little flat. Uh, it's doing whatever it's doing. Pretty no, much I think you were controlling it. So here, you want me to... Yeah, by all means. Uh, sure. Yeah. Maybe it'll respond to voice commands. Well, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch. Oh, good. Oh, good. Finally, it's about time. Oh, God, I don't know why I got this chair. <laughs> oh. I think I was sitting here when we moved the con computer. Was that it? Yeah, uh, you were doing most of this physical setup in the room, so you ended up in, in a captain's chair. Is it, is it working? Yeah, there we go. All right. Well, that's the thing that's supposed to be moving, huh? Yeah, so if you just basically use the arrow keys on shifted or, you know, it's up to control or function. Oops. Oops. I Not quick to... enough. Game over. <laughs> so, surprise, it is, it is keyboard playable. All right. Which is unusual, but yes, so but from, a win for us. So from now until four o'clock, yeah, uh, see how, how, yes. how quickly I can die at a game of this. Yeah. Try, try a couple more rounds. Sure. See what happens. Maybe I'll hand it off to somebody else. Mm -hmm. You know, we can try it. hand it off to me because I've never been a Pac-Man player. Never ever. I, I got you there. Oh, you're good at this. You've good probably done this before, huh? Good by meaning not totally terrible, but probably going to die when I get the last. How, how do you? How, oh, I see. Some of these, some of these things bite you, and some of them you bite, right? Is that? Uh, yeah, you still stay away from the ghosts. If you eat the power pill, then the ghosts are edible. They turn purplish. And... I see. If that makes any sense. Well, I'll take your word for it because I don't know what the difference is. Video game sense. I, uh, I can remember 30 or 40 years ago sending the kids off at, as soon as they ate half of their meal with a handful of quarters. Uh, and then they would come back begging for more quarters. Of course. 
the oldest one would take all the quarters from the other two and tell them that he was going to play the game for them. And uh, if they won, it, they could keep the prize. Well, there were no prizes, but he was clever enough to, to steal all the quarters. So if they squat on you, that's bad. Yes. But if, if you bite them on the... Uh, yeah, so if you eat the pill for a limited period of time, they are edible to you. Hmm. Who knew? As I said. It's a lot like being a teenager. And knowing, knowing about those, and, I was going to say mentos and coke. That was not too aspirin in a coke. <laughs> Before anybody knew about GBH. No hip no whatever it's called. I have no idea what time it is. Anybody? Three o'clock. Three o'clock. I will go and ask if there's somebody behind us because it's gonna take us a little longer. Yeah, a little longer than usual to pack yeah. up and but I've got to find my cane. Did anybody see my cane? Oh, it's behind us, I think. Is it? Okay, it does. Uh, when I'm, I've got things to hold on to, I'm fine. It's when I get out there and uh, I'm going to go out there. Completely the screen. How about that? Oh, am I moving faster now? Oh, I like that. Too many sprites on a single line there. Oh, that was quick enough. Want to give it a try? Okay. So it's the arrow keys here. The e, S, D, and X. And you can hit the space bar to pause as well. Pause the whole game? Yeah.
30 minutes. I also found out that this thing folds up. Oh, yeah, they are from the work Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, uh, yeah, fuck quite my way. Yeah, but, uh... But I didn't fall. This looks like I was going to Seen that in some time. And now I know again. I don't know how I did it either. That's that's kind of scary. Do you want to try it? No, thanks. Uh, I'll, I'll, for I'll, game. I'll, pass, I'll pass on that, Joy. Let's uh, try it for game. So, Kevin, yeah, you hit hold on the function key and the equals or plus key, which is synonymous for quit. Um, and hit the space bar. Hit the space bar and we'll go to a games menu. And add the games. I don't know. What about micro pinball? Can we play that from the keyboard? Which one? Micro pinball 2, G. Gee. Oh, pinball. Yeah, that should that should uh, that should be. Uh, uh, try space bar or enter. Yeah, just don't just don't fire the thing until you know what. Uh, S S and D. Uh, you might want to have to turn the uh, uh, alpha lock off too. I don't know. It seemed to me that it was something that uh, made things flip. So I don't even know how to start it. We just did that. I'll try hit one or oh, well, there was there is an action on the one on the uh, right left hand flipper. Yeah, there you go. You got one flipper. So one is the left. Oh, you did something. Zero or the equals key, the other one. And mm -hmm. let's go to the deploy the ball. Oh, there you go. There you go. Ooh. Which one did I hit to get the ball? Oh, it is the. There, there you go. Oh, bummer. I'm drain. It's like a, towards the end of a ride on the metro train. Six thousand points. Oh, hey, that's not bad. It's not zero, so we'll take it. I'm about to start it again. Let's go figure out which key you mashed to do that. Try whatever you use to do to shoot shoot Enter. the ball. I think it's zero. Or maybe you were going up the number of keys and hit something. Yeah.
question is, is there a button you can hit to the floor? <laughs> Usually, usually some of the pinball, pinball games on classic computers are pretty, they're entertaining, they're not too difficult, they're not sort of twitchy action games. But some are better than others, but this one seems pretty nice. Yeah, I don't want too many bells and whistles because God knows. Oh, gosh. Train. Oh, it's chucked it down the drain, fumbled it down. Good job. Uh, still enough to score. Only oh, 11,000 that still, time. Boy, that, that. Most of the scores are zero. And zero yeah. is pretty easy to beat. <laughs> yeah. Speak for yourself, Jim. <laughs> it's 
Because at some point, you're, luck, you're pro probably be pretty unlucky to not get a bumper when it comes through the system. So at least a couple of points. That must be a thousand apiece. do that. I don't give it enough force somehow and it sucks it right back down the drain. That's the sound I hear on the metro train when it says it's time to wake up. You're nearing the station. to try how well i think i've embarrassed myself enough uh, today already okay, let's try a different uh game well it looks interesting oh they're all exciting but uh i'm not sure what we can use uh let's try b for plus keys can, if you're already pointing in a particular direction and you push the same arrow key that you're facing, it will advance the tank if it's not being blocked by something. And if you push any of the other arrow keys on the other faces, it'll rotate the tank to the other faces. And then the B key actually fires the tank. Any plan? The B key? Well, we really missed today.
You know where the keys are, or what they do, I was just saying. Remember, we gotta start breaking down about a quarter to. Maybe a little earlier than that, either. So maybe go another 10 or 15 minutes and then maybe start thinking about it. You gotta get that time.
Yeah, that's a pretty good one. 52,000. Uh, you guys got to think on there. Uh, okay. Let's see if I can try something. No, no, no. I, I know my hand eye coordination is not as good as it once uh, was. I might try another hand messing with the PEB. I'll try a, few, a minute or two, and if I can't get it to work, then I will. I once in Sevilla, we played pinball. On a nickel, we played for four and a half hours, and the guy who was running the bar got really mad at us and finally went over and pulled the plug. And we had 50 or 60 free games still racked up, you know. And he pulled the plug. He said, you know, I'm not making any money. You guys aren't buying any beer. Get out of my bodega. <laughs> and uh, so, but, but for four and a half hours, we had fun. cost us a nickel. Uh, about the two pesetas, I think it was. Almost got in a fist fight once in a pinball game in uh, Luxembourg. I went into uh, the guy had been playing a pinball game. And uh, so I went in, put my uh, Frank or whatever it was in, in Luxembourg in there, and I started playing the game. One guy came out and was yelling at me. And um, the bartender walked over and said, uh, What are you yelling about? He said, I had five free games there. He said, Look, you still got five free games. The guy paid for his, his thing, and you still got five free games. So I turned back over to him, and he apologized, and I said, everything's fine. And we ended up buying each other a couple of drinks, and I, I thought we were going to have a fist fight for a while. It's funny yeah, that's 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 okay, let's look at this version of Donkey Kong. Let's see if that's keyboard-driven. Oh, we still got any viewers? Let's see. We might have. I think it's not going to let me do anything. It's interesting that it's showing this backwards on the screen. Yeah, I know. I have no idea why. Yeah, neither do I. I hope it's coming through okay at home. Uh, it should. It doesn't usually. It didn't usually do that, did it? it uh, is it perhaps because of this thing? It's <sighs> Do 
you need a function key and uh, maybe just joystick driven. The um, I can trump with a Q. So that's weird. Hmm, you found the DAC key. to go through and mash keys. I guess not. I can control everything but I'm actually moving, I guess. What kind of an evil genius? Designs a game where you can be I can destroyed. Jump, I can pause. All you could do is jump up. Oh well, that's one way to beat it. <laughs> yeah, that's the other game. That's uh, war games. The only way to win is not to play, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's your problem. Right? <laughs> yeah. Try not to end the world while we're doing Donkey Kong. Oh. The Doug Mason. Remember that is? Oh, oh it's it's keyboard driven. I seem to remember this one. We got to climb up a bunch of ladders and do something. For some reason, I don't know why. Up everything in the world. Start over. You just get eaten by something? Yep. Yeah, I'm done. Well, you got something that time. Oh, the diet. Besides being eaten.
poi te lo vado so this you have to pick up all the trinkets and preferably not get eaten by a ghost Say our goodbyes. There are barbarians at the gate. Um, well, this is uh, this has been an interesting meeting for us. I'm sure not so much perhaps for the folks at home, but We'll bid them all uh, goodbye until next month, uh, first Saturday in the month. And um, with any luck, <laughs> with any luck, Vic will be back and be able to uh, run a few more of these programs who actually knows how to run them. And uh, we'll have all the different uh, parts that we need to run them properly. And we'll have some new stuff, hopefully, that uh, people haven't done before. So uh, if you've made it through this far, we hope that you'll uh, join us again next time. I can't read the uh, uh, the text here, but um, we will uh, say sayonara until next time, and uh, that's about it. Uh, let's see if there's any text out there, anything we can have to answer. Uh, let's see. Matthew Spells, love being reminded of good games like Midnight Mason. <laughs> well, I'm glad you liked it. Um, Yance Elka. Yeah, oh, yes, yes, uh, Ica said six letters in assembly label. Ah, okay, thank yeah, you, Yans Ica. When we were struggling with final Without names. the disc end. Okay, so at any rate, uh, that is um, that, that is hope for us this tonight. month. Yeah, and um, you like my lumberjack shirt? I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. <laughs> at any rate, um, so from uh, Jim over here. Hello, goodbye. And Ken over here. See you next month. And me, right in the middle. Uh, we will see you all uh, next month, hopefully. And um, uh, have a good February. Uh, <laughs>
think of this as a precursor to Lent, where <laughs> please don't give up watching uh, yeah. show for Lent. Yeah, okay. That reminds me I need to get my punchki as soon. Yep, and uh, that's about it. So uh, I guess we're ready to sign off. And uh, how do we do that? End stream. Okay. We'll end the stream. Hit it with a hammer. Bye for now. I see. End your stream? Yeah. Yes.